Hello everyone, my name is Protesilaus, also known as Prot, just to provide you with another status update on the HUT project. As you can see behind me, I installed solar panels. Uh, this was done uh, yesterday evening. We finished the work uh, with my friend, the electrician, at uh, half past uh, midnight. It was long and laborious, a uh, very difficult endeavor, but we finally uh, made it happen. Uh, I spent the last month and a half without electricity at the hut. I had to be nomadic to go back and forth uh, for uh, gaining access to the internet. And this um, hampered my efforts uh, to keep up with my online activities, with maintaining my Emacs packages, with responding to my private email correspondence and so on. Uh, so, of course, now that I have electricity, uh, and of course internet at my hut, I will uh, get back to everything. Expect me to be up and running in a couple of days uh, maximum. Uh, I will show you in a separate video the electricity cabin as I am calling it. It is the cabin that I made out of doors and you will see it. It's quite a nice uh, little construction and inside of it uh, all the electronics are housed and uh, you will see there what my friend the electrician did. Uh, just to say here about this, uh, the metallic skeleton here is something that I built myself. Maybe you remember this spot. I was digging those holes and I planted everything in and then I made the metallic skeleton myself. Uh, what uh, my friend helped me with was to lift the solar panels and install them in place over there because each of these panels is quite heavy but more importantly they are fragile. So you don't want to drop this. You definitely don't. Uh, just to say uh, finally that the hut, the work around the hut is not finished. I still have lots and lots of work to do. Uh, it is livable. I live here. It is perfectly fine, but there are still uh, lots of things to do. It's still a fair weather construction. I must uh, seal off uh, places, make sure the insulation is... Uh, um, perfect, uh, make sure that everything is in order. Uh, I am uh, building a fence around the place uh, such that I conform with uh, legislation uh, that mandates that the dog owners must have a fenced area, else the dog must remain indoors at all times. And uh, lots of other things like that. I have to do uh, a piping system. I have already done some anti-flooding uh, work and I will do more. Uh, I need yeah, lots of things. Uh, clear uh, the land here uh, for um, uh, to make sure that uh, nothing will uh, fall in the area of the hut. Uh, make sure that there is no uh, soil erosion and so on. But uh, yeah, this will happen over time. No worries, of course. Uh, I am putting in all the work and I am happy to see uh, things uh, uh, materializing, things coming to uh, fruition. Uh, I still remember uh, a few months ago where all this seemed, seemed like a, a distant dream, a crazy, crazy thought. But here we are now, um, off-grid electricity, off-grid internet. I mean, uh, technology has made uh, certain things uh, um, that were once impossible uh, quite feasible, which is wonderful. Uh, so I will uh, record another video just to show you the electricity cabin. Uh, just to say finally that I am thankful for all the good people that I have in my life. Uh, good people around me that have uh, helped me, uh, friends who have uh, showed, um, uh, who have been there for me, uh, including in this case with the solar panels. It was quite an adventure to get here, but eventually uh, a last minute click, as it were, uh, made it possible to get the panels instead of another option that I had for a power generator that was never uh, delivered. But anyway, it doesn't matter. As the Greeks uh, say, uh, if the end is good, all is good. And this is something that I live by. So all is good and I am happy to be here. Uh, that's all for today, folks. The other video, I will record it, but bye bye. Take care. So here is the cabin. The cabin made out of doors, the electricity cabin as I am calling it, uh, but let's get inside. So this is something I built myself, of course, uh, made out of doors and it's doors all the way, but we are not here for the cabin. I showed that in a previous video. We are here for uh, the electricity work. This was done by my friend, of course. I don't dare touch anything electricity related 
uh, because uh, I will probably burn myself to death, uh, electrocute myself to death. Uh, the um, box we see on the left hand side is the inverter. The one in the middle is the combiner box. And then the one on the right here, uh, here in Cyprus they call it the automatic, but basically it's the safety valve. Of course we see the B over here, uh, curious to see what is happening. And there are the batteries and uh, all this goes underground and there it connects to the earth and of course it goes into the hut from there uh, this is everything or everything you see here i built uh, myself so there is that i made a small adjustment to the cabin here such that there are openings in the walls and this is for ventilation purposes this level of ventilation is uh, perfect uh, and it is uh, very good, it will uh, keep the place um, safe and uh, low maintenance. Uh, so there is that. Uh, that's all for today, folks. Uh, thank you very much for your attention. As I said in uh, the other video I recorded a minute ago, um, I am looking forward to get back to my online activities. I have lots and lots of unanswered emails. I am sorry for that. Uh, I hope you understand and I will be up and running in uh, no time. So, take care folks, uh, see you soon or talk to you soon. Goodbye.